Do you buy women bottles when you're outside? Mm. Mine. Uh, <laughs> uh, cop out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. He never folds, never peeking through the smoke. Fucking go right through the door. I got all this Gucci thing, my thoughts are smoking pookie low. You ain't got your own. Pussy bring you two less. One up, you can spin it. I took your shit and you was cool. Like you're all ready. What's that, good? Was, that was me spending it, by the way. I'm I, sorry. I don't know what the fuck you just did at the end. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? Y'all just tuned into another episode of the Goodfellas Podcast, episode 156. Uh huh. This is Jigga. Wow. Be well. Cash. DJ One Cash out caught in the building. Feel good to be here, man. Been a long time. Been two years. Word. Two years is crazy. I, two years. I, I, I only don't got my shirt on because I did some childish shit. Spilled soy sauce on a white tee. So, damn. Tank top it is. What, were, what was it? The General Souls? <laughs> nah, nigga. I was eating sushi. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Who eats soy sauce with General Souls? Yeah, that's a nasty combo. He crazy. That's some New York shit. Yo, uh, chill, maybe yo, on the white rice. <laughs> you have facts. You put no soy sauce on the white rice. I'm still not doing that. I mean, I've seen niggas put soy sauce on their fried chicken. Uh, yeah, 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 white rice, Nick, duck that's sauce. A, that's a little unique. Listen, in the hood, you just put everything on the plate, bro. The the hot sauce, nah, the, the duck nah, sauce, nah. the soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce only going white rice, bro. The hot mustard, all of that. Not hot mustard. I'm not jacking. Stomach, hot I'm not stomach, stomach with going dubs. Not, not jacking hot mustard at all, bro. I, I'll be on this hill by myself. It's cool. Yeah. But yeah, welcome back, brother. Appreciate it, bro. It has welcome been back. like welcome back. Welcome two back. years, maybe three, bro. It's yeah. been a minute. Nah, we so did two episodes with man. Cash. One with... You sure? Mm. One Dolo and then one with... Yeah, but name? they was both 2020, I think. Yeah. What, what's his name? Mart- Martel? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah Martel. Yeah, that's the first time he pulled up, but he had his own episode right after that. Oh. Yeah, like two weeks after that. Yeah. So three years. Still Damn. Damn. Back. Yeah. I like the new space. This shit looking good in here. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, y'all did make y'all thing. Make you feel like, you, you know, know what it yeah. is. It's the good I got the trinkets in here. I fuck with it. This shit hard. But yeah, Cash and me like, yeah. Cash and me like maybe like Well, me and been talking about it, but then mm-hmm. he hit me he hit me up like a few weeks ago, like, yeah, let's let's do it. And I'm like, you know, I was on tour. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> he tried to postpone my shit twice. I'm like, nah, twice on. is crazy. Twice. I'm like, yeah, like, let's get this, let's get this done. I'm gonna yeah. double back though. Yeah, for sure. Cause we we definitely wanted you up here when when Ant is here, but you know that brother, you know, yeah, that brother traveling, catching flights. So. Where he living a rock star lifestyle. Yeah, yeah about the speaking of rock star lifestyle, how how you uh how you making it out there, Mister Mister Gordon? You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm taking shit one day at a time, bro. I ain't I ain't doing that. I ain't doing nothing too crazy, man. Uh-huh. One day at a you time. You slowed it down though. <laughs> Yo, he, it's good to hear that. Down, it's good to hear that. He said, that's, he? "That's how it looks." It don't feel like he it. slowed it down as much as it was before. It like, don't. like, remember that time I hit you? I was like, "Bro, sit, sit down, chill out." Right? <laughs> it was like, "Chill out, bro." Yeah, I think I, I definitely did slow down a little bit. It don't feel like it, but I know I did because it, it's something that I did on purpose. Because you said that a lot of people said that, and I started realizing it was true. Like. You can't just be on 10 every day. I'm telling you slow. You know when I I realized that, bro? I think it was 2021 homecoming because I did, as usual, tailgate. I have a tailgate at the party. And sometimes I have a party after that. And I realized, like, when niggas was 18, like, just getting in college, Mm -hmm. the daytime to the nighttime, that shit, not nothing. You get tired maybe 4 or 5 a.m. This shit, it's three o'clock. I'm at the day party. I'm like, my feet hurt. Like, I'm like, damn, I'm getting it, it tired. Just, it, it just nigga just start catching up. I'm it like, is. yeah, like that shit catch up. It's not the same how it used to be where you could just rock all day, all night. I feel like, and it's different when, like, you know, like you going from like kickback to like kickback or like cookout to cookout to cookout. Yeah. Yeah. You could hop, you could cookout hop, you could party hop. But when you start club hopping, that's when the shit start affecting you. So you go day party. You do four bottles. Oh, Lord. Four you bottles leave. at the but, day party? Look, you the pre, first you, party? Look, facts. You pregame. You go to day party. <laughs> four yeah. bottles? First okay, party? all right. Two bottles at day party. Boom. You leave now. You go to the after party. Bro, that shit be a lot, bro. That shit be tiring. Like That's even different. I wasn't even talking about from an alcohol standpoint. I'm just saying just from being on your feet. 
yeah. moving yeah. around. But that too, that's something I definitely caught on to because I'm like, yo, I was somebody that I was a late bloomer with the drinking shit. Like when everybody was first drinking, I would drink on occasion. Or I'd be a nigga that only drink champagne and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't really into the hard drinking shit. That's but what you're once you right. get in. Yeah, fucking Bella yeah, now, now, this, now this nigga cash in the parties with the bottles on his Once head. you get in, you get in. It's like you realize, bro, I'm drinking every other day. And that shit kind of like not cool. Mm-hmm. So you got to find ways to slow down. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody enjoy drinking. And niggas at a certain age where wherever you go, yeah. it's alcohol yeah. involved. So i just been trying to take. Days off when I don't have to like you don't gotta if you eating you don't gotta drink with that. Yeah, I know it's tough because it's a part of like your, your current yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, it's like Z like, brand. It is, but that shit important because an old head nigga told me that that's a promoter. He was on some shit like, bro, like I'm about twenty, thirty years older than you. So imagine you keep going to my age and you drinking every day, bro. Yeah. That shit not Dad. that ain't it. Like so shit like that. I thought about. I'm like, all right, let me slow down. If I got to do it on the weekends, regardless, yeah. let me chill on the weekdays. It's not necessary to be drinking every day. But, like, like I say this, I, I've been fucking with you and, you know, turning back the the, the, the fitness journey back up. I've been fucking yeah, with that, bro. Appreciate it, bro. A lot. Niggas a lot. be hating, though. You'll be I'm surprised. Not, I'm fucking with it, bro. Niggas be hating. It be like, niggas, don't want you to niggas make, like, comments like it'd be like, oh, oh, this nigga. Like, the gym, because it's like, all right, if you post a lot of gym shit, right? Niggas be kind of like not mad, but that's something that they not doing, and it's something they not used to you doing. Mm-hmm. So they make little like backhand comments. It's like you hating, like you tight because yeah. I found you know how it is when you find some new shit that you like to do yeah. that yeah. another the next nigga might can't do or he might not be interested in. The first thing niggas gonna do is try to clown you, but I don't be going for that shit. Yeah. Niggas, be, <laughs> niggas be hating. It's like bro, what's it's the gym. It's not like I'm doing some odd hobby shit. Yeah. Niggas is taking care of their like, body. And, yeah. And like you, you, you in there, you in there working out, like you show niggas like yo, yeah, workouts and shit like that. But it's not like you're not in there trying to like flex or like shit on nobody. So I don't niggas know why. Be, you know what niggas, bro. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, it, that's that's tough. It's he's consistent. Like he yeah. really had a goal and just like keep doing the shit. You feel me? Like me, I be off and on. Like, like I like, told nigga, a nigga chill out in the gym. This nigga, <laughs> nigga was trying to, nah, nigga was trying to go tough. seven like, seven days, three times a day. I'm like, all right, nigga, nah, nah, that's tough. I'm like, he really made mad progress, mad fast. Like I'm a habit person. That's why. Like yeah. I, it for me with anything. Once I could get like two or three weeks straight of doing something, it's over. I'm gonna stick to it. Or once I decide this is what I want to do, I'm gonna go 100. percent I definitely been on and off because, like, after I stopped playing sports, which was like I think 20 when I was 20, I stopped really playing sports for real. After that, it was kind of like all right, I gain weight because I gain weight, lose weight easy. I gain weight, I say I'm gonna get in the gym. I get where I feel comfortable. I yeah. stop, get back big me. type shit. This is the longest I've been consistent though. Like on the 14th. Of, wait, what's the 14th? Like tomorrow? Today, I think it's like tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah tomorrow the 14th will make four months for me that I've been working out straight. That's the longest since I was actively playing sports. Mm-hmm. So I'm even been proud of myself this time because I usually get to a point I feel like I lost some weight. I look all right in a t-shirt. Yeah. I stop. I it. go back to what yeah, I was that's doing. That's all we care about. Like, yeah. Yeah. Is it <laughs> yeah. Cause I had a I had a white tee on maybe like a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'm like. Stop this not this not me. Stop drinking the stop me. Oh. I'm like, I'll be beating too many coronas down. I'm sitting there, I'm looking at this. Now you I'm see like, them certain pictures. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This don't look like me. Like, I'm yeah. like, all right. Yeah, that's what that's what did it for me. It's like because I got tagged in the photo and I ain't repost it. The photo was hard, but I ain't like it. So I, ain't I know how that go. Nah, <laughs> it'd be like certain shit you can't like, repost. Nah, not me. Because you like you yeah. get to that point where it's like you only feel comfortable in the winter because you can hoodie, yeah. coat, you can do the jacket. And then summertime, you be sticking because yeah. any shirt you put on, shit be fire. It's like yeah, you peeping the rolls, you peeping the... <laughs> and then the, it yeah. be like you got to take pics certain angle. Like, nah, that yeah. shit get annoying. It's like, nah, let me get my shit nah, together. I get crazy when it's hot. And, you know, it's like, all right, yeah, I got to put it on. I feel like wearing a beater. Me and the beater don't look right right now. Yeah, <laughs> you pack that up, buddy. Yeah, throw the beat on looking like Uncle George. Yeah, pack that the fuck up, man. Thanks. Right, so the gym shit be fun though. Once you get into it, I I be telling people like the key to that shit, bro, is just 
finding what you like to do, like, mm-hmm. like literally what you enjoy doing. Because I even had shit like I like to run, but I like to run outside. I get on Nike Plus app and run. I fucking hate running. I hate the treadmill though. Yeah, the treadmill. So just get, one day I'm like, let me try this elliptical shit. I fuck with that. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Let's say I never tried the elliptical. I just wouldn't be running because if I don't run outside, I'm not running on treadmill. I feel like more people are fuck with the gym if they find it like to a T everything. You got to wear shit you comfortable in, like mm-hmm. where you feel like you look good, just like how you would with an outfit. You got to do workouts you like. Work out somewhere you like because it be certain places I work out at, I'll be ready to go. Like, let me get through this shit and dip. Other places I'll be comfortable. So mm-hmm. I feel like people make that shit fun for them. They'll fuck with it, but they try to do what they see other people do. And that shit might not work for you. Right, for them. yeah. Because I remember, like, when One Up was heavy in the fucking gym. I was never in the gym. Well, not in the gym, but, like, off your workout shit. Word. Still am off and on, but. Nah, I don't know. I'm like, you slim down. I'm talking about like when one up used to be in the crib off his Billy Blank shit. This nigga said Billy Blank. Oh, one, one up was a calisthenics be, nigga. Yeah, yo, nah, yeah, yeah, he had the gloves. Every day, I did not have no gloves. You, he had the gloves. Every day, you would see this nigga in the crib. Uh, he posts on the IG like doing some wild <laughs> in in the crib. We're going yeah. crazy. P ninety X type. Shit I salute the them crib. niggas because I I don't like that shit. Like if a nigga say let's go work out and he take me to do that, I'm not gonna work out with him. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, that shit just not for me. I don't enjoy that shit. You one up definitely got a pair of gloves. I do not have a you pair of gloves. You hit a nigga in the park bro. on the on the monkey bars. Nah, I, I don't go that hard. I don't go that hard. Them niggas that's be doing. Man, that's how me and Marcus was at a point. Yeah, nah. That, that's how jail work. off that shit. Them niggas be doing like pyramids, like. Yeah, nah. Stacking shit all the way up to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah that that shit. Nigga, I'm good off that, bro. And I was like, even like when Bilo was in the gym, heavy as hell. That shit couldn't put niggas <laughs> off guard. Because this nigga, he just started doing like shit he don't normally do. Like yeah. his arm is in position like right there. I'm like, yo, Bilo arm big as hell right now. <laughs> Like what, you, like, what you talking about? I'm like, nah, bro. He's like, that's been a nigga picking up a cup like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hi, nigga. Nigga curling the cup. Yeah, yeah but... nah, I missed the gym. I gotta make some time for it, though. I've just been working, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but now, like, once you in the gym, it gets addicting. It's almost like one of them things that's easy to build a habit of, because once you there and you, like, really get in tune with the things you like doing, that should become like a, a drug almost. You like, I, I, I want to go. I want to yeah. go. I want to go. I wanna In the go. days you don't go, you feel like shit. Like, yeah. You feel like a failure. Like, damn, I ain't get some <laughs> I'm on some bullshit. I Until when your body's sore, though. Nah, I mean, I rest mean, days, though, for sure. You definitely take rest days. But I'm saying like a day. Let's say you are busy and you feel like you might could have squeezed it in, yeah. but you don't. You Even just be like, 30. fuck. Like, I really ain't work out like, today. So, like, y'all remember, like, when I used to be, like, waking up and going to the gym to play ball and shit. Mm -hmm. But, like, now since that shit over, since that shit deep, it be, like, it's a whole gym downstairs in my apartment. I I barely go there like I used to. I used to be fucking that shit up. I used to be, like, all right, let me just get a calm little 30 minutes in. Now I'll just be, like, "Mm, fuck it. I'm going to just stay in bed. Get up, do some push-ups. Lazy just shit. Gotta, lazy shit. Just gotta do just that gotta shit a couple times. Shit, bro. Lazy shit. But I still, I still now, I just keep it to like push-ups and jump the rope. But I need to jump back in that bag though. Definitely. I mix that shit up too. Sometimes I wear shit. I feel like I look good in, and then sometimes I wear shit. I feel like I look trash in because if you wear some shit and you look trash Mm -hmm. you're gonna be like nah i'm not nowhere near where i need to be but if you wear some shit that you look good you're gonna want to keep working out because you You look you might be psyched you might be psycho how though (laughs) this nigga's michael jordan bro he's just making up shit in his head that's a different type of motivation (laughs) i'm saying though all right let's say you in the mirror working out and you you got some shit you look brock as hell you like yeah i'm getting right in here so now tomorrow you might be like i could miss today because my shit getting up but if you wear some shit you look fat as shit you gonna be like nah i ain't getting nowhere yet Mm -hmm. you just mix it up because that's a good way to Motherfuckers think, Motherfuckers start thinking they got somewhere. You ain't really getting nowhere. That shit go back fast, man. You back to square one. But I don't, if I'm psycho, I fuck with it. That's how I'm fucking with it. That's what I'm saying. I fuck with that. I'm, I'm nah, fucking appreciate with that. it, bro. I'm fucking with that a lot. That niggas weak, though. That niggas weak. Uh, week was cool. Work. Went to a baby shower. AJ cook out. Kids. People having kids, man. It's fucking expensive. People having kids. People getting proposed. People getting proposed to? <laughs> Be how was your week, brother? Hey, yeah. It was calm. Work. Nothing crazy. 
Just chilling. Looking forward to any day. <laughs> any day, part five. Yeah, I ain't been outside, so any day's like my only time I've really been outside for the summer, and that's the only time I plan on being outside. Mm-hmm. I told niggas, remember, we was talking about this show on the pod, like early on before summer even hit. I told niggas I was taking the summer off. You definitely did say that. Yeah, so. Well, why, what made you want to do that, though? Honestly, just, I wanted to just be focused on me. Like, even now, like, for me, just focused on me. So, like, certain things, I could say it's almost like the gym, trying to build different habits, trying to get in tune with different things. Um, yeah, like, honestly, it's mainly just, like, a summer that I just wanted to take off and make sure I was, like, straight. Fuck with that. How was your week, Cash? My shit's be a blur, bro. It be too much going yeah. on, bro. Nah, for real. That shit, days be running into each other. That's what, that, like, to what b said, that's why, I, that's part of why I try to slow shit down, not do so much. You start feeling like days running into each other. You can't even remember what you, and I'm a nigga with good memory. I be finding myself, somebody asked me what happened yesterday, I don't even remember, or two days ago, just because there's so much shit going on. Mm. So, like, this week, um, I definitely had a productive week, like for sure. It just that it been so much. Like I definitely um worked out every day. Of course, I took care of like business shit and shit like that. But it just be hella shit going on, bro. I be wanna yeah. <laughs> hit the pause button real quick. <laughs> that shit be. I mean, it's the fact that one of I forget. I'm gonna ask you too, but it's just it's just the fact that like you got so much going on. You got yeah. different. You got um. Cash on the motor side, you got cash working in the store, you got graphics, you got like mad different working parts like around you. So it's like you put the pressure on you, it was like now it's like, damn, I need that. I do need to hit that pause button sometimes. But I feel like yeah. I feel like you need it though. I feel like that's what makes so, you like hungry, keep going type shit. So the last time you was on here, what have you added? Cause I, we know it's like a lot of shit. Nigga added about. But I've been waiting to ask that <laughs> nigga question. Added, nigga added a, about. a million things. It, not even that long after. Cause I'm mean, like, maybe like a month after you was on, uh, you was on the pod. I'm like, this nigga started bugging. bugging. <laughs> <laughs> started bugging. Or nah, I mean added. So I I've been doing um. Well, I was already doing the management shit kind of, but now I really focus on like PR and marketing. So mm-hmm. y'all know I work with Ant with yeah. that. Uh, I work with um, DJ Stunner. Um, what else is new? Uh, I think when the last time we was on, Strong and, and Menlo hadn't opened yet. Yeah. So that's another thing. Um, that was probably one of the craziest plays, though. I f- I'm, I'm like, I really fucked with that. Like, yeah. T- I mean, to this day, that shit is still like. Because how you turn Stronghold Menlo up is not like how Stronghold Boomfoot is. I agree. It's a. This is no knock on nothing it's just like it's a total different total different environment like i remember like when stronghold bloomfield opened up and it was like i was about to go get kicks from and shit like that but now it's like how mellow is like you really got motherfuckers in there right we just had um uh i don't know if y'all familiar with uh derek whitehead from the nets he just got drafted to the nets he from Mm -hmm. north he just pulled up the other day like we definitely try to keep like influencers and like you know who's who people pulling up yeah. stuff like that because you know we try to basically take it from where it's just street where now we got certain designers in there and then we try to always keep the local yeah. local brands in there and stuff like that i mean but it really shifted from like a whole sneaker store to like now it's more so like street wear, like yeah, I, I i feel like a lot of that is like you know the sneaker sneaker market and other things like that, you know, get saturated. So, you know, we want to focus on how we could be different and how we could have our own, like, lane and shit. So even with that, everybody I work with, I try to just focus on, like, you know, taking the PR marketing shit, the real, like, the real key to it is just taking whatever somebody's identity is or what they want it to be, you just amplify it because – you want people to look at that person or that brand or whatever it is like it's larger than life. So it's just been taking, you know, things that probably been a part of the brand and just like amplifying it different ways. Uh-huh. But as far as what I added, bro, it's really been that just working with um, new new talent, um, the, the store in Menlo. Uh, I started doing like the stylish thing. So like I have a few clients I work with you know, doing outfits for them or just, like, you know, wardrobe shit like Mm -hmm. that. Um, 
Other than that, uh, I did. They don't do that. You damn near acting and directing now at that point. I was about to say, so that um, shit, when it come to like, I mean, I've always been doing that, but I've been trying to like, I guess, take it more serious and do bigger projects. But even with cash, when it come to cash dolls, when it come to the shit that we do with moguls, I always, and I didn't realize it, we'll do skits or we'll do like different ideas. I never really realized it until I did the acting shit because it put me on the other side. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn. So when we do this shit ourselves, I'm literally casting, writing the script, directing the shit, mm -hmm. editing, putting yeah. the shit out. Like I'm literally doing probably what in a, in a big picture is 30 people job. I'm doing it as one person. So from this acting shit, which Wednesday, is this going to be out by then? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Wednesday, the premiere of uh, Ryan film is also going to be a showcase at AMC New Brunswick. They're going to showcase different short films. I'm starring in one of them. That was my first time acting, and then from that experience, I'm like, damn, I really be doing this shit when it comes to our projects. Projects I might get hired for. I really write scripts and yeah. cast people and shit like that. I never looked at that until I was on the yeah. other side. That shit is really crazy. Because from what you said, you just like you just trying to make it happen. You just doing whatever to make it happen. Just yeah, and, coming up with ideas like, yo, we need to promote this. Like that shit that y'all just did for any day. Mm -hmm. That shit was hard. Like shit like that. I feel like is what separates. You know, that's, a lot that's, of, that's that nigga. That's that was you. <laughs> that's yeah. that's, that's yeah, that was hard, to right bro. There. That's Mister Two. I mean, you know what it Clap is. Clap it up for B Law, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that uh, shit was quick, hard. Like quick little like niggas a niggas a draft up ideas and think a whole bunch of shit and like put shit down. It's just like it'd be the execution sometimes. But that one, we really had to get it out. We really had to get that one out. I respect that shit because in yeah. this event shit, I'm not gonna lie to you. I be feeling like shit be corny. It be too cookie cutter. Yeah. Everybody just do the same shit. That's so when people do shit like what y'all put out, it make me feel like it's a level of competition there. Now we got we got to get on our shit right, when yeah. we want to do something. It's like it keep it fun. You feel me? It's mm -hmm. not really fun when you feel like you are the only or one of the only people that's trying to do shit different. Like yeah. once other people do it. It's like now you gotta raise the bar. Now yeah. the next time we put some shit out, it gotta be a certain way, you know. Shit yeah, like it's that. A, it's definitely definitely like that. Nah, that's why I was um basically saying when I thought of it, like I'm more t more so tired of the whole skits that everybody hitting with. Oh, you're pulling up the Henny Day, uh, like calling it, like yeah. Yeah. So me give it some like Creative. give it more thought, creativity, yeah, creativity like feel me. Yeah. But at the same time, like. Add fun to it. It don't. It don't gotta be serious, but you know, just give it something to where it's like when this person watch, they know it's for promo. But at the same time, they want to watch. Right. They want to see like even if it is like down to making the calls, it's not as simple like something funny with it. Like it's more to it. Like even when we had did the when you had did the whole thing for um for Ant yeah. when we was like doing the the food. Feel me? Uh -huh. yeah. I'm like yo, I'm gonna add something in there like just to be funny with it. So when it was about. Um, the big back sandwich. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I can't yeah. have it because I got low back. Like, it's something that yeah, you yeah. want to add to it. Where it's like, I, right, I'm liking how this is going. It's like this, I'm watching it. It's keeping me tuned. So that was with with that. And then like, no funny. Marcus had hit me the other day randomly. So he like, yo, I just want to tell you like, the way you go about things and how you look at it. He like, yo, you really have it to like take it far. Feel me, but you just gotta like put more into it, like feel me, because he like I feel like you be trying to stay humble. And I'm like, yo, I think that's my biggest thing is like I be trying to humble myself too much, but I think that's like where I'm starting to get focused at is like getting in tune with more stuff, like just yeah, like even like I remember like when we did the um remember the 112 episode, yeah, when yeah. we did that, what when is we did this mm -hmm. and then everybody like yo, this nigga Bilo really a star. We call it all the time. You the rapper of the group, bro. <laughs> He the fucking rapper. He the, yeah, the chase tuck today. He the rapper, bro. <laughs> <He'll chill on laughs> chill on me. I want to read you some shit too. I said this to my man's. It's crazy that you just said that. Um, you know, you feel like well, Marcus told you that he feel like sometimes you too humble, and that shit hold you back. Cause I was just telling my man's the same thing as far as like when you carry yourself a certain way. Sometimes that shit clouds you. I yeah. can't find the word for word, but I basically told him like, it's it's good when you meet people that have like a lot of humility because them usually is the most stand up people. But the downside of like having a lot of humility sometimes is that 
you don't really want to like. Here it go. I said at times. I said a man of great character and ethic is usually a man of great humility as well. But at times, great humility figuratively casts a shade over a brightly shining light. Basically saying, like, when you humble sometimes, you just, you be trying to turn yourself down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you you got everything that you need or you got something that people need. But because you want to, you know, carry yourself a certain way, you'll turn that shit down. But fuck that. Because at the end of the day, you know, you know who you are. Everybody that really know you know who you are. So uh, put that shit on Front Street, bro, because you never know where that'll take you for real. Nah, facts. When I'll you think I, of it like that, it definitely does. I'll, like, say, I'll say that too, like... um especially like for these like past few years it's a lot of shit like i really just be cool off of like yeah. it'd be like i right, so like cool a lot of people know a lot of people but i know i know myself and i know like certain things that like i could take to the next level and i'll just be like chilling mm -hmm. um but like how you say like it's not more so it's not like i'll say for myself it'd be more so like uh i get to it when i get to it type shit and i had to get out that mind state Cause that was a mind state that like I just didn't like. I'm like mm -hmm. it was it was too it was too, like you know how, like I be saying cozy not comfortable, mm -hmm. and I'm so used to being cozy, but I make myself uncomfortable. So facts. I me? did want to add one more thing because I get killed for this. I I am also part owner of a hairstyling service, mm -hmm. non just touch. Y'all can go book. <laughs> At non this touch, cause she'll say, Oh, why you ain't say yeah, my fault. I did add that too since the last time we talked. Question though, what's the what was the wait, wait, wait. One up, how was your week real quick? <laughs> week was regular, sharpening the knife for Henny Day. Yesterday was lit. Yeah, you did. I was like you really did show your ass last night though. I didn't do nothing. You really did show your ass last night and Bilo was funny as hell on the motherfucking on the motherfucking live on the that did the back flip? That was yeah. you that did the backflip? What? <laughs> Jigga said somebody did a backflip. Yeah, flip. somebody did a backflip, but nah, but I wasn't on the page. So who was on the page? <laughs> somebody was on the who page. Who was on the page then? Somebody was I, on the page jealous. But I tell you, I said I was asleep in my car the whole you time at work. So who was asleep? We was there. Had to be below. I seen the I seen the message. I'm like, this gotta be below. I was like all caps. I'm like, yeah, this below. But yeah, now you was even for that little part I tuned in for, that shit was you was tweaking. Boy 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 was boy was Boy, it was wild. I ain't gonna hold you. Took James and to a spiritual somebody place. Came yeah, in. he took me. <laughs> James' eyes were closed. Nah, <laughs> no, it wasn't. I swear to God, <laughs> yeah, it is. I look over. I'm like, yo, you were the spiritual place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you was tweaking, and then Shorty came in your way while you was tweaking. And I'm like, yeah, bro, the nigga just. Uh, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, you can see it in his face. Like he started. trying to cook up, but like mm -hmm. too many people. Cause in I feel his, like, like when, yeah. when we when we got there, like he, I think when we got the when we got there, the song was playing was Delhi. He was playing Delhi, uh, Ice Spice or whatever. Oh, and then yeah. and then like you know like he just got into his bag or whatever. But then when he went that he was doing it like Caribbean. Then he did I'm a piano. Then he did. Um, house music. Then somebody asked, somebody asked for a dumbass switch. Like, let me hit some R and B in the middle of him going crazy, and that shit got me tight as hell. Like, this shit got me so tight because he bro, was bad too. People do that shit all the and time, and I'm like, bro. all right, bro, fuck that. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm talking, I'm like, this is what we all love. I'm like, what the fuck this shit? Run this shit back up, and then you jump back in that bag. You jump back in that bag. Like, yeah, man. stop asking for requests. Jump back in that bag. I tell y'all right now. I speak for my man. Stop asking him for requests. I say requests. mad people come up with their phones like, yeah. yeah. Niggas don't realize like, nigga, this nigga's in tune right now. Like he's thinking of the next song after the next, but like still making sure it's a good um, transition. And niggas just be like, yeah, you know what? Throwing some Tevin Campbell. Mm -hmm. Like my nigga, right now this nigga is playing Fabi. How the fuck you want him to go from Fabi to Tevin Campbell? But was, like, yeah, that was well said. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I don't have nothing else to add. You motherfuckers. And all, all the people that was, like, mad people was parked in front of people's driveways and shit. <laughs> asking me to 
tell people move their cars. Like that shit. Yo, <laughs> yo, people do not follow instructions. That shit bro. was annoying, bro. Yeah, well, he got mad that somebody's phone got stolen or some shit like that. He's like, <laughs> he's like, why are your phones always going missing? There's people around. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> phones don't even get stolen anymore, bro. So I'm gonna be honest stone. with you, son. You just lost your shit. Be losing their shit and pointing a finger. Yeah, because like niggas don't even have time to steal phones anymore. First, I like Apple done upgraded all their devices to right. even when you erase it, you still need the password for the iCloud. So it's cooked. Like, there's no even purpose in stealing shit. But nah, that, I just started laughing because that shit reminded me of when niggas be like, uh, when we was in high school and niggas' parents come grab them. Yeah. Ron, your mother's outside waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, On the intercom. Killing the whole vibes during yeah. the party. Uh, yeah. Is Brittany here? Your mother's out front to uh, take you home. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, Cash. So what was this? What was like the flip that switch? Like, um, this nigga woke up and was like, "It's got." It, yeah, because I'm, I'm be like, me. because I remember like, it's me or no one else. So <laughs> I met Cash through the fact that like, um, Keese. So like, Keese used to run with like me, Lonnie, Fizz, shout and to, shit like that. Shout to the whole Keese. The whole empire, the whole strip. Strip two three two three. You feel me? And then you know, Keese. Was living a wild life and had to get up, get the fuck up out of FDU. So he went to Willie P. <laughs> really? So he went to Willie P and shit. So then, you know, I started seeing him in um Keith started running with cash. And then, you know, I think that's when y'all started having y'all bottle wars. That, yeah. that was the shit like outside and shit like that. So then I'm like, when was the switch that flipped was like, all right, let me turn this shit to the next level. Cause then now it was like, I seen this shit go from like moguls and Cash dolls and ratio crazy. Like, explain uh, to me each of them. Like, okay. I know what ratio crazy means. Ratios crazy is just like a. It's it's moguls. It's just a. It's just like a tagline or like a slogan or whatever you want to call it. But, we but know that's why moguls. It's the same thing. But we know why it's ratio crazy. Yeah, we know that. The ratio is crazy. We know that. We know that. The ratio that. is crazy. We know that. I mean, more I, vibes in the spot. Listen, even on like a bad night. That's what I could guarantee. I, <laughs> niggas that hit me, yo, we trying to come by bottles. Is it going to be crazy? If I know it's not going to be crazy, I'm not going to tell a nigga, nah, it's going to be ass. But I tell a nigga, listen, this what I can guarantee you. It's going to be some females in there. I can guarantee you that. And that's why, let me do what I'm supposed to do. I am appreciative and thankful for all the women that support us. Because, nah, for real, even on the I'm worst nights... Women. Yeah. Even on the worst nights, it do be some women in there. But I mean, I say the the flip really switched from me, and it's crazy. Me and me and Jigga, it's like it's funny because he'll see me on the gram talking some shit or like mad about some shit, and that's always when he pop up. He just <laughs> laugh or he say a little comment. That's it. It really came from that. It came from like situations where I feel like I might have got slighted because I wasn't nobody yeah. yet in that realm at least I had my little like popularity but that just as a regular nigga from North yeah. that went to college it, it's a difference like I'm y'all know it's a difference when you get popping popping when you just somebody that people right know yeah. so it's like from my experiences of getting slighted or feeling like I didn't get a certain respect I deserved or even reaching out to niggas for advice or to work and niggas a dish you, that weird. type of shit add up, add up, and then you take your L's that come with that. It's like from there, I kind of said, well, look, I had my first night that went well, like really good. Like I had my first pack party, and I remember leaving that shit with a headache, like booming headache. I got caught up with my ex at the end of the party. Some crazy God shit. Damn, a lot of boys. shit went wrong that night, but it was a great night. I made bread. It was packed. And I walked away from that. I remember word for word saying like, yo, if I feel how I feel right now and I'm ready to do this shit again, that means I'm really fucking with this. And at that point, I had already took my fair share of L's. Like I said, had niggas ig me, had niggas like get over on me. So from there, I said, yeah, like I'm going to really take this shit serious. And that was spring 2019 i always tell people like when i give advice or people ask me how this shit went 2019 that year for me was like i guess you could compare it to like uh if we talking sports it's like um like most uh, season like that but like let's say like a um 
you know niggas had a breakout year where it's like yeah, okay. you can't miss everything you doing is right. It. It's working. At that time I remember I got I got cocky with it. Like one day I dropped the flyer. I'm like, right, I'm gonna drop the flyer twenty four hours before I I bet y'all I was in the dorms. I'm telling niggas, watch, I'm gonna drop this flyer. I guarantee all this shit going bang. Niggas like, what? And it was a Montclair party. I didn't even go to Montclair. I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, watch. I threw the flyer up, not even twenty four, like 18 hours before shit bang and it was like at that time I just couldn't miss yeah okay so like I said once I went through what I went through just like growing pain and shit like that and then shit started working that's when I really fully like committed and I just turned all the way up with the shit and then from there the cash doll shit it just was at a point where I niggas got this shit established we got a certain formula that we know work for us yeah so what can we do next to be bigger? I Turn think for me, I up. just yeah, I just Turn always I want to be I want to be number one, bro. Like, mm-hmm. and it don't involve no hate and shit or nothing. I just want to be the best. I don't want to feel like I'm on some regular shit. So I'm gonna always think of a way to like that's take enough. it to the next level. So that's all that is. But moguls is like the big umbrella type shit. Mm-hmm. The cash doll shit is like a subsidiary them, situation. Yeah. Ratio's crazy. It's literally moguls. The lifestyle. Same shit. Yeah, exactly. The lifestyle. Yeah. The lifestyle. That's all. Well, I want to say something that you, well, touch off what you said with um, appreciating like all the women and all that. I really do appreciate women, son. Like, not, <laughs> not, not, like, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> not not in a sense for me, but like when it comes to events, like like you said, it could be a trash night, but like you can still guarantee women. Like you feel me? Like yeah. this is still be here, this down the third. Like first off, women been popping more bottles than men lately. Yeah, I was about to say that's that. Wow, now though. Years now. It's been a minute. It's been a like, minute. They've been doing it for a minute. Like. When I'm in the spot, so when we throwing our events, we're mm-hmm. looking at the tables and it's yeah. It'd be women, women. Yeah. like you feel me? And up. at the end of the day, like that's one thing that off rip, like they'll come, mind their business, do their own little thing. They don't need nobody. They won't leech off nobody. They'll pop their own bottles. They'll like really bring the vibes because they are who they are. And of course, when I, I say like those women that attract me. Certain women like feel me. First of women, <laughs> those ones that attract me. The, the ones right, that don't be groupies. The one that yeah, I'm gonna come. First off, the right women make can make your whole event. You feel what I'm saying? The exactly. right group of women will make your whole event. One because let's let's keep it a bean. Let's call a spade for a spade. They lead it. So like when they posting, a lot of females ain't gonna give them credit, but they be like, oh, they gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feel me? And they wanna they wanna follow. Of course, the niggas is going to follow because niggas is just dogs. But, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. as far as, like, these women creating the vibes and the tunes and, like, when they cert- do certain things that they're going to be in certain places, they're bringing these other women right along with them. Then those other women not going to give them credit. Like, ain't nobody going to really want to admit to it. But they know, like, for me, it's just you could go so far with women. And I just appreciate them because they really do. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like in, in, this, in this realm, because, um, you know, like, Goodfellas as a whole, it's not really like, you know, like like promoters or like party throwers, but it's the fact that like women have always been the biggest supporters. Women are always gonna be your biggest supporters in anything mm-hmm. that you do. You feel me? One thousand percent. Because it's just like you know, below said it, like a lot of now lately, all these sections is really women. Women it's not niggas, not four or five niggas fighting to like, <laughs> yeah, bro, like let's let's get this section. Niggas like hey, we just gonna go to this party, unless unless you and your niggas really move like that. To like shout out to the niggas that actually yeah. like yeah we going out, but not we going out but we bringing it. people with us. Right. Like you go out, you mm-hmm. bringing people with you. We go out, yeah, we got women with us going to a spot. Niggas that just go get the section. With just niggas, just niggas, yeah. just just niggas. I feel like shit changed. No. Just niggas, and then and, and then now they trying to. I'm like, and niggas is, no. la- is last minute. Like we in the event, all sections are sold out. Hey, yo, bro, how good a section? <laughs> no, it's yeah. done, bro. It's over. Yeah, it's over. It's they over. got these sections. But it really be like that, bro. It yeah. really be like that. No. It really, it really be like that. Like now, it really be women. That's the ones coming out. They they busting more bottles than a lot of niggas and niggas out here flashing cash. <laughs> And these women really out here busting. I see nah, to what you going, said I though. See, I see women go. I see niggas try to have a bottle war with a like a section of women. 
<laughs> and these women spank these niggas' ass at this bottle war. Nah, facts. But though, y'all niggas are older than me, so mm -hmm. I'm not counting y'all. Yeah. I feel like for my age group and younger, I've been wanting to say this. Oh, I feel shit. like Nah, it just it just something to throw out there. It doesn't really matter at the end Sound of the like day. About to shake the table. But I feel <laughs> like <laughs> nah. I feel like it, the nigga did this. I feel like nah. Table, I man. feel like niggas, preferably or specifically, the niggas I be around. Nah, I'm gonna say me. Fuck that. I feel like niggas made it cool to have a section where it's you. Maybe one, two of your mans, three of your mans, max, and all bitches. Before that, niggas wanted to come deep. Niggas wanted to be 20 deep, 15 deep, all the homies. That's a fact. So they put their bread up and get bottles. That's a fact. I start noticing. I felt like, personally, but I be trying to, I know I be trying to be self-aware. Sometimes I be yeah. on some soldier boy shit. I be saying, I'm the first nigga to do such and such. I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably not, but that's how I be feeling. No, I, I mean, at the end of the day... You are if you see it from your vision. Right. As long as you not sitting here knocking another person that you know is, has done it before you. But if you going from your eyes, then you are the from first one to do it. That's your reality. I yeah. feel like now, and it be forced. Yeah. You know, you know, you know them <laughs> bitches trash, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know them bitches trash. One, oh, it be like you man. look. It be this like is you where look. The table was going to get shook. At. <laughs> <laughs> you look. I was trying to see where, <laughs> but, but it, 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 it where. don't. <laughs> it don't be. It don't even fit though. You look, and it don't even look <laughs> like that. Don't look natural. It look like <laughs> it look forced. It like ah, right, you try to Who's recreate some shit that you seen. Mm -hmm. But it's cool though. I like it though because like y'all said. Now when you see A lot of the girls Is like Participating on a different level yeah. I fuck with that I just wanted to throw out there that nah, I feel I agree like though. I agree Like From somebody that is Like Up there in age Feel me <laughs> Like I'm, I'm saying though Like nigga We, we in our 30s Feel right. me yeah. From right. somebody that From somebody that's like <laughs> <laughs> but, but I say like From being how long it's been since I've been in clubs and all that? Like when I first started, and niggas was at all stars and all that. Yeah, like you get what yeah, I'm saying? We right. were just niggas. We yeah. were deep full of niggas. It wasn't we. The, I think the main reason was because we wanted to be them niggas in the section with bottles and right, yeah. looking for the girls that was going like yeah. come to the section. But we wasn't on that level of thinking how we are now. Where it's like bring the vibes with you. Don't look for the vibes there. Bring the vibes with you. Like. At the end of the day, Cause, cause for the most part, we party. Are, huh? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you create your own party, y'all all vibing together to keep it like keep it a beam on the guy. I'm first, of all, I'm not looking for no leech to say and be like, yeah, come to my section and drink all yeah. my liquor because we've been there before and you see how heavy the hand gets when like, <laughs> yeah. like, like let's call us yeah, for like, 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 like call, calling it like that, like okay, um, we speak on 2019. Oh, we wild. 2019. Good, 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 fellas. 2019 was probably. World tour. Yeah, it was yeah. probably some of that the most the insane. Chicago Bulls. That was some probably some of the most <laughs> insane shit I've yeah. yeah. I thought I thought 20, 2017 was a wild year, but like twenty nineteen just took shit just yeah. to another. That was a another. good year though, in general. Yeah. For as far as definitely as far as like like you know, nightlife and shit like that, yeah. like events. That was definitely a good year. Like, I'm talking about bro, it was to the point where it's like that. Now, I'll say this every weekend. That, that was that was the time when like I wasn't. I was let I was being jigger. So it was me like you know. What do you mean? Meeting new people, connecting new people, bringing them back to the fort. Like okay, yeah, you want to hang out with me and my niggas? How we could break bread together, type shit. But when I say we was blacking, bro, <laughs> I'm talking about I was like, bro. Shit. I'm talking about we was getting booked. All of us. Get booked in different places Niggas to come to the spot. When is it to gonna turn stop? shit up? Like it, yeah, nah. It was like, <laughs> when is it? When is it gonna stop? Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was bad. We, it was we, bad. We it was said bad. this before because even like you brought up 2019 for you. Uh, I yeah, we said yeah, like, this nigga cash the, the torch space, and just upped it. The space it was like it kind of was like. It was a sign telling us like the world about to shut down. <laughs> the way 2019 went for everybody just in general yeah. it was like. That shit was like a good ass year. Shit, I even say January to March 2020 was lit for me personally. Still. Speaking. Oh yeah, yeah, because it was about to be. A, it was looking like it was about to be a great year like, for real. Yeah. I mean, 2019. Um, because we have you ever been to like the Ainsworth branch? Yeah, one time. One time. One, one time. time. So that was when 
We was at the other studio. We used to be 2019. Mm-hmm. Go to hella shit, right? We'll go to a brunch. Me and B-Lo go to a brunch. Then boom, we go pod. From pod, we either go to Ainsworth. Then when Ainsworth got clipped, what was the shit that... Um, What's the shit that was down tonight? We used to be fucking City? Up. Oh, City, city Lounge. lounge. City yeah, lounge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we turned City Lounge. We turned City Lounge. Nah, bro, bro. 2020? We turned City Lounge out to like a little slut. Bro. We used to like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 That Ainsworth brunch coming from the pod getting drunk Faithfully. and going to Ainsworth brunch. I feel like in Jersey, that's that year, that was when brunches really like that shit started. Was different. That started for real. That city lounge, that city lounge night before the country got shut down. <laughs> you remember, bro? Oh my fucking god, man! What a fucking time. These niggas was buying bottles on a Sunday night in city lounge, bro. No, re- no reason. Just up in it. No yeah. reason. No good reason. No cash. I'm telling that city, them, them city lounge days was. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's just how it was. It ain't like it ain't matter where niggas went. Yeah, like city lounge wasn't just how it, it was, wasn't the was. spot. It like, wasn't the spot, but that shit was just, so. I'm talking about jam packed though. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about like you. Nah, I've been in. The, I I know what it looked like. So you Bruh. telling me it was, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like you city lounge. I'm talking about talking niggas the in there. Niggas in there tweaking. I remember even like the Ainsworth in there tweaking the yeah, fuck Ainsworth out. Ainsworth was crazy. This, this nigga James done drug me to Ainsworth for my work clothes, bro. Yeah. I'm in there a whole uniform on. Packed. <laughs> Packed. See now, shit like that. Nah, for real. I fuck with the fact that, like, when you talk to niggas that, like, like I said, we not, we we apart in age, but not that far. Yeah. I like talking to niggas from, like, th- that had their own different eras. Like, they was doing shit I wasn't doing at that time yeah. because it's like, then you could compare shit or, like, see how shit was different. Like, think, the way y'all talk about Ainsworth, yeah, Ainsworth, that would be, like, Noah for me. Like, that yeah. run, like, where it's like, yeah. how he said niggas yeah. are coming. It was like the crazy shit about the craziest shit that I always bring up. Like if me and Keisha talk about it or me and anybody, that was the only time I was telling motherfuckers like we when we at the peak, it was 730 to 1230. I was telling motherfuckers, meet me at seven. If you with me, meet me at seven. Shit didn't start till 730. I did not have to ask twice. Niggas be there at 645. Cash, we here already. We just let you know we here. Don't leave us. Niggas was not playing about that shit. And then. We walk in 7.15, 7.30. Shit is lit by 8.15. Like, yeah, rocking. Movie. That shit, like, looking back, I mean, in the moment, I kind of knew. Like, at first, I was I was like, damn, this shit crazy. But at a certain point, I kind of knew, like, this not normal. So, it's this not normal. Nah, that, like, was a, that was a crazy You got to enjoy I, this I'm, shit. I'm not, I'm not even going to hold you. Word, bro. I didn't. You know how it is when you telling people, y'all know, yo, meet me. Hey. It's always like a, yo, where you at? You in the parking lot waiting? Yeah. It got to the point I was having to tell people like, yo, next week, pull up next week, please. Like, I'm turning people away mm-hmm. because it just it, that shit had got bigger than bigger than niggas for real. Like, I'm in the mall and people like, yo, ain't you the Noah dude? Like, people was DMing me, people was DMing me asking me if I was the owner, asking for work. That was like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, asking for work? The 27th. The 27th. That shit was crazy because, like I said, 2019, I feel like I couldn't miss, but that shit was on some like local celebrity type shit like that. I didn't I mean, think yeah, it like was you, that deep for real. Did you, did you even plan for that? Like, y'all... Cause I know, I know it was a couple of different teams right. on on the on the bill. Did y'all did y'all think it was gonna get that big at all? I'm gonna be honest with you. I can only speak for myself. They had already had that going on, and added me on now. Okay. From seeing the spot, cause I had already seen the spot beforehand, and kind of like I'm not gonna lie, fake passed on it. I end up doubling back, and when I like envisioned it, I'm not gonna lie to you. I seen it. My vision was getting it to a point where this is the destination on a Sunday night for women to come have a brunch slash party vibe. So I seen it getting big, bro. But fuck no, not like that. At, at that point, it became the Sunday night party. The brunch right, didn't really we, brunch didn't even matter yeah, for yeah, real. Facts. So I saw it becoming a lit 
nighttime brunch. I never saw it being a thing where, because I mean, before that, Sunday nights, like you could get a Sunday night at any venue because yeah. nobody had shit going on. Mm -hmm. And it became like a party night for real. So nah, I won't lie to you and say I seen it uh, being that way. But I will say, I feel like the proper moves was made. Like it wasn't by luck. It was certain things that was done. That whole Noah, that, that whole made Noah it that shit yeah. fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, like, capitalized. Cause so basically I went to Noah maybe like in January of that was that twenty twenty. I think that was my birthday, you can yeah, I but before that I went I went there like it was like, after a podcast. Episode. Yeah, I went I, yeah, before a podcast, I went like on a little date type shit. On oh, some daytime shit. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, regular Sunday. Yeah. Like I seen like, you know, the shit on TikTok or whatever. And then that's when you had the first one. I think like all the teams had the first brunch there. Then I seen like the run started getting crazy. I'm pulling up in there. I'm like, this Noah's? When y'all came for, <laughs> I think that was Aunt birthday? Yeah, no. We, yeah. Yeah, that was one of them nights. I no, remember that. I remember one of them nights. Like I the went bottles. in there. I had to stop drinking. Remember remember when, like, when I went? Um, It was that Ramadan. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I went in there. And I showed my ass. This nigga said, I'm gonna start fasting with you. I said, I hit him next morning. I said, bro, I did too much last night. Yeah. Bro, I'm talking about I blacked out, I had to leave my car. Cause you know the studio right around the corner. So I had to leave my car at the studio. I I, I see this nigga get on the mic, like, yeah, it's a hundred dollar bottles. Last 30 minutes. This nigga bought like two of them. I, I tried to be like, I said, yeah, run two. <laughs> Hell yeah. That shit, I remember them shit. <laughs> it showed my ass. Yeah. I'm like, nah. It was to the point. Down. I still got receipts. Not even, this not no flexing shirt or nothing. It's just like, just to show how it was. Niggas was making so much bread that I got receipts from in there where it was kind of like, I'm... She'll tell you, KB will tell y'all, I'm having a section. Let's say I got like 15 people with me, yeah. right? First of all, y'all know like it's kind of like every promoter guest list. You mm -hmm. structure it so you still having people pay. Mm -hmm. We had so many people coming that I'm rounding up 15 motherfuckers and just saying, come on, like they with me. All right. So they getting it free. Then we got the section. I'm telling niggas, yo, everybody send me $50. The tab like eight, seven, eight. Sometime we was going crazy. I might get in that mood because you see yeah. how I get like at like 11. I'm like, yo, let me get an ace. I'm getting discount prices, obviously. Yeah. But we running the tab up where it's eight, nine, twelve hundred dollars $1,200. I'm just telling everybody, yo, just send me 50 Couple of the niggas send me a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. I tell the girls, yo, send me fifty. Cause y'all didn't have to pay to get in. Y'all ain't pay for no hookah. So yeah. send me fifty. The niggas nice. send me a hundred. But I'm really taking the L on like five, six hundred and not giving a fuck because, because we was making that much bread. Right. And like, it's the fact that like everybody have a I'm talking about I remember and there was another night we came there, me below, me below and it in a section. Shirts off because it's so fucking hot. Oh, yeah. I think that was when the AC broke or some shit. I know that. I remember that week. Oh yeah. my fucking god! That Niggas. was the first week. It was hot outside. Bruh. We never had AC. <laughs> Bro, yo, oh I was. God. I told these Bruh. niggas. Bruh. Had AC, nigga. I told Bruh. these niggas in March. I said, yo, we gonna need AC. Like this shit not gonna stop. It's only gonna get bigger. We need AC. The first week in June, I think it was hot. It was sweltering bad, and ain't nobody leave either. They bad. everybody stayed. It was hot Sweating. as fuck. I still remember that fucking day of that that when I said I had to give it up. Yeah, you I got in, in trouble that day. Yeah. Me, me, Keys. Be like that. Nah, me, I walked there with me, Lonnie. You can say, oh, me, yeah, Lonnie, I and video Spook. With your shirt off. And K, KB. That's when he was doing like the walking oh, shit. Yeah. He was doing the walking shit. Yeah. I'm fucked up. We can find these pictures. I'm fucked up. KB caught us. Walking in, I'm drunk as hell on the walk in. I'm like, I'm gonna find this. that I can't shit. Do this I got shit no all more, the files. I'm gonna find I'm that like, shit. I can't do this shit no more, bro. But yeah, what a fucking time, man. Blanco, you ever went with us? You yeah. went one, one time. I was there um, when Ant was cel uh, celebrating his uh, <laughs> Nah, mm -hmm. that day was funny as hell. Nigga, Ant was about to fight a random Spanish nigga on the street. <laughs> yeah, Ant wasn't even really about to fight Not niggas. Just, he just was. He was just man, yelling off everybody. Yeah, he just was guys. yelling niggas. So it's just funny. If you don't know Ant, you probably would have thought he was serious, but he like, yeah, what's up? But nigga, just like he, he playing like it was homie. a nigga fishing in the sewer. Yeah, like, dead ass. And he had a fish. We don't know where that nigga was fishing. He had a fishing pole. He had a fishing pole in the sewer. It was like, yo, where, where you fishing at? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. I don't know where you fishing. We dead ass though, like. You know, like when you go right under the bridge, this nigga yeah, is literally had sitting a there. Got a fishing pole, fishing, fishing pole, pole in the sewer. 
holes out of the sewer, bitches bowling down there. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, said, that's some Elizabeth shit. I said, nah, take take this shit out. Oh yeah, nah, definitely, you definitely been doing your thing, son. Um, especially with that Noah shit, right? Like, for me, and it, like you said, we in different age groups, so it's like good to see like niggas still holding shit down. Yeah, man, kudos to you. Appreciate yeah. it. I mean, I I be doing my, I do my homework. I be niggas like y'all, no funny shit. Like I say, y'all, uh, cup life. Certain other individual promoters, bro. But I look at everybody. Everybody mm-hmm. that came before me. Yeah. I always say that. I look at niggas. But certain people, I really, like, study and try to, like, I ain't going to say copy. I try to always be original. Yeah. But I'm going to say, like, nah, I like how them niggas be carrying yeah. it. So I'm going to try to do. Because at the end of the day, like, for example, the whole, like, when we did Casa Palooza, obviously, we seen, like, well, Keith had already been. He knew y'all. So yeah, he been yeah. to a couple of Henny days. I never been to one. I'm like, yo, the concept of that, though, is hard. Like, what's some shit that we could do where it's different, but it's, like, the same concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, I I always, you know, just same way y'all saying to me, I definitely appreciate the shit that y'all have done and keep doing because y'all show how it could be, like, longevity and y'all not doing too much. Like, yeah, y'all at a point now, y'all living y'all life how y'all want to live it. Y'all still bust y'all moves like you. You bust your own moves separate, and then once a year, y'all got somewhere y'all come together. And then we've been doing the championship shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them shits be cool, so I definitely I look at like y'all as an example. Could, we, could, we could definitely up the championship yeah, sure. shit to a, to a whole nother round. Yeah. That's too, that's, that's too, too, yeah. We're I was looking at. That. I ain't gonna lie though. I was looking at the pictures from I'm this mad, past I'm, one. I'm mad I didn't get to go to this um to the New Year shit. I'm not oh, gonna hold y'all. Yeah, he wasn't there. The pictures yeah. I was looking at I'm it. That I shit was rocking. I like you be in the moment, mm-hmm. but I looked at the pictures. I'm like, nah. That I'm shit mad was I didn't lit. get to go to that shit. That was the one. Oh, that was the one I left. The the, the day y'all had. I went to Cabo. I went to Cabo the day it was. Oh wow! Yeah, nah. That shit was. I'm like, okay, niggas showing they ass. Yeah, yeah cause the first one, ass. it was, was just a COVID movies. outbreak, so yeah. it was shaky. But this last one, I'm like, yeah, it was def- lit. Yeah, it definitely lived up to the hype. Bro. Oh, uh, I think that was, I think I closed the last one too. Yeah, yeah, you did. But I say like this, um, like, you know, like how I was just saying, like, you know, like I slacked on my potential or whatever. But I like the fact that like Cash, he put the he put the foot to the metal on his potential and just took it to the next level. You so know, that's what I, you know what I really why. fuck uh, with. About cash specifically, you're not afraid to pick up a skill, bro. This nigga does literally like mm-hmm. you, you make flyers too. Yeah, facts. This nigga yeah. does any and everything to to you know perpetuate the the mission. So facts. Uh, that, I learned both sides though. At the same time though, you gotta let the people that know what they doing do. Because yeah. sometimes you get caught up trying to do everything and the product not as good as it should be. So I've been learning that. I think that's the biggest thing I learned over the last year, year and a half, is just letting people do their job and not always feeling like, oh, if I don't do it, it's not going to be done right. I've been trying yeah. to let people, the people that really make flyers for a living, yeah. like they don't do shit else. Mm. When it's a big event, I'm going to just go to them because that flyer need to be a certain way, and et cetera, et cetera. Because I caught myself sometimes trying to do everything and then the product not as good as it could be when you let people do their work type shit. But yeah. the good thing that comes from that is you get a feel of it. So at right. least like Yo, I'm you under get smacked. I ain't gonna hold you. You start to understand <laughs> dumb people from how they handle their job. You like feel me? So it's like you start to show more respect to it. Like feel me? You pick up a camera. Like matter of fact, when we was doing that shit uh, for Ant. And it had the whole chill camera. Yeah. It's like you see that this shit ain't nothing light. Like, feel Word. me? It's easier for you to sit here behind the scenes and be yeah. like, yo, you playing uh feel me? But it's like you think about the shit that go into it of how heavy that shit is, how you gotta catch certain angles, what you got like so feel me, it is I say like when you do that, you get a perspective from their point of view and you get a feel of it. But that's true. Like, for honestly sure. speaking, I really love the fact that like you you doing the PR shit for Ant. Like it's like the perfect. It's like the perfect fit. Like, Damn, oh, you hungry, man. nigga? Damn, she will be your ass. Like, 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 like one o'clock. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> this nigga drank henny for breakfast. Nah, I had a corona on the wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you really live like the old Jew. Nah, nah, nah. I, can't. I feel like a lot of people, more people need that shit though than they think because niggas be having talent or having some shit yeah. and they just not broadcasting it the best way they can. Because yeah. it was like, all right, so maybe this was when Ant really went 
pro or whatever, whatever, you know, like I was doing it for a little bit, but I wasn't outside. I wasn't like, I wasn't sticking and moving and shit, but like with y'all, it works perfect because you in the field, you in the field, but he's not in the field. He could be chilling. He could be working, but it's just like, okay. Once you have the spotlight on you, anything that you put out, right, it's gonna bang regardless. And then like I seen like how y'all have conversations on making some shit like, all right, boom, let's do this. Y'all bounce off each other and be like, okay, like okay, boom. When you went working out with him in the gym yeah. downstairs, that's a under like the underlying look on it is like, okay, yeah. He could be my PR manager, but he's really out here with me. He's really yeah, in yeah. the gym and with me. And that go to what b -Lo said, because that shit, I said, it helped me. Obviously, you know if a nigga's an athlete, he's doing a certain level of work. Yeah. But that that shit, it kind of help you put in perspective. Be like, this nigga, with this nigga working for real. Yeah, he's like, like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, like, he's, really, he's really with him. It's not. It's, yeah. This nigga b -Lo a kid, bro. <laughs> this nigga, he's like. <laughs> I thought it was something important. I'm like, is the wire unplugged or some shit? One thing with Ant though, it's annoying, but I respect the fact that nigga will say no to some shit. Like, oh yeah, if he don't like, I it. feel like people <laughs> with me, they think. They look at me a certain way, so they don't want to say no, because they feel like at the end of the day, Cash know what you're talking about. Nah, or they be scared to say no. Bro, you can thoroughly explain, this is nah. why we need to do this. Mm -hmm. like, nope. If nope. bro don't want to do that, but he listen, it's like a balance, because he will listen. He'll listen to you. And if some shit, if he will say, like, nah, bro, like, sometimes he tell me, bro, like, why you just letting me say no? Like, help me understand. But it's like, nah, nigga, if you don't want to do it, I ain't going to make right, you do it. Right, nigga. But that nigga will say no to some <laughs> yeah. shit, bro, in a cold no. Not you, like, oh, nah, bro, he going to tell you like, nah. when you tired of trying to explain it, he still wants you to go. He still <laughs> wants you. You said no, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm not talking about this, but no boy. I respect that about him, though. Because he be like... <laughs> Yo, that right there is exactly, exactly. He'd tell you, nah, bro, I don't know like, certain shit. And he'd be like, nah. <laughs> He be nah, killing me. He give you a stone shit. cold. Nah, I ain't trying to do that shit. And be like, all right, bro. That's a good balance, though. I'm yeah, nah, I respect dog, that bro. shit. One hundred percent. I love that nigga. That nigga is really crazy, bro. That nigga yeah. is all for that, bro. So let me ask y'all a question though. Y'all got y'all folding chairs? Y'all keep that folding. <laughs> I keep chair my folding chair. My shit oh. not registered. My shit not. <laughs> I keep my shit in the trunk. <laughs> my shit got a beam. <laughs> Keep my shit ready. Exactly. Yo, you seen the shit with the nigga that had a clip to his jeans? Yo, that shit had me crying. Hollow seats. I got hollow seats. Hollow seats is crazy. Hollow seats. I got hollow seats. Yeah, I'm trying to bring my folding chair to Henny's day. No, you don't fuck you. We already been down that road. We not trying to go down there again. All right, so so hypothetically speaking, y'all niggas see a nigga come in there with folding chair. That shit down. Put it down. Sit. Y'all gonna tell him, yo. You can't have that. Yeah. I'm tapping security. Uh, it's a chair. Yeah, yeah, facts. You gonna tell him like, yo, nah, no, 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 that's security. a weapon. That's a weapon. Definitely a weapon. We've have come to, to see folding chairs might, a weapon. I might do a skit live at any day, walking down. <laughs> yeah. Sit on that shit. See how many people turn. Like, oh, you want some bullshit? I'll say this though. I really like the fact that you know, um, eighty-five percent of these ticket sales is women. The <laughs> niggas talk that 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 cash shit. Like how y'all how y'all now y'all talk it. Pull up and buy these women some bottles. I like the fact that to buy these women, buy some, these women, buy these women some, some bottles. bottles because do you do that when you go outside? You just yeah. be buying women bottles. Do you bro? buy women bottles when you go outside? Mm. Mine. Uh, <laughs> cop out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. Hey, I be hey. doing the I be doing the bait and switch. I get the free. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never. I'm never gonna identify whether this bottle was given to me by the club or not. Just know uh, that you got a bottle in front of you, yeah. okay. and Yo. you did not pay for it. <laughs> Straight up, hey, every I'm, time. I'm fine. My shorty got her section of it. Uh, time out, uh, cause this shit had me crying. And I'm like, yo, I thought I was the only nigga that did this. This the other day, this nigga Cash tweeted. He like, yo, sometimes you just gotta watch. Like, like the person that you like trying to fuck with or whatever, like the music she liked, this down and dirty. Oh, yeah, like, play it. It's when she get in the car, you play it. Oh, where are you fuck with this too? I'm like, hey, yo. nah. Twitter. 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 Twitter.
Whatever you want, you put their name, you search what they be tweeting. Bro, favorite this, favorite this that. Years, nigga. Like, yo, yeah, huh, y'all, huh. y'all niggas like, want to know yo. why I'm a sniper, nigga? Like, Straight up. Right now. <laughs> why y'all like y'all that? You pull crazy. up with that shit already and I, playing. And I know you got like five songs into the playlist, Bro, so it's not I, like, I, oh, yeah, nah. so it just randomly nigga, come on. Nigga, nah. Nah. Oh, this is that work. I'm, I ain't, you better than me. That shit on when you get in off the rip. <laughs> I done pulled up with that shit already on. This nigga got this shit playing like a movie. Like, at the end of the day, what you know about What you know about this? You want to know? Fuck with this? <laughs> nah, nigga. you don't fuck with Everything this. Everything down to the movies and shit. I'm about to throw a movie on. Yeah, that's my favorite movie. Fuck out favorite then movie. Then when she hits, oh, this my favorite. <laughs> he crazy. Yeah, <Yo>. niggas. <laughs> Then when she says her favorite, you got hit her with the yo, like I, I, I had a feeling like you give me that vibe for real. I'm really you into like you. This would be a song. Yeah, summer rain, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember them nights, yo. Yeah. Uh, but you just so gotta like be in tune, bro. Y'all niggas crazy. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all are sick. You gotta get in tune. Y'all, 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 y'all niggas, yo. y'all niggas took hey, that hey. Tevin Campbell song a little too. Hey, man. I've been watching you sometimes <laughs> for so very long. Sometimes, yo, you gotta get, you gotta get in. Gotta get in the gym if you really gonna get on the court. <laughs> you really gotta get in the gym if you wanna Man. get on the court and score your buckets. You but you can memorize our favorite Bro. scene in the movie. Bro. Start quoting at the same time. <laughs> you gotta be in the gym when the gym is open, James. You can't break into the gym. I, I think this shit come with it, out of the blue. <laughs> like you gotta pay attention for me. I feel like the snipe. The all right, well. Cause this this episode is gonna be real watch, so I gotta watch my lingo. But oh, niggas, been, oh, <laughs> oh niggas, <laughs> media train. Nah, he, he you you need to hook good up. Good fellas nigga, podcast bro. got soft, and I was like, oh, oh, that's what, that's what it shit. sound like. <laughs> I never heard bro say no shit like that. That's him, not me. Fuck. Nah, I think I did almost get him caught up on the last episode. I asked him some shit. He started doing but. that nervous laughing <laughs> shit. Scratching his face. <laughs> he said scratching his face. Scratching yeah. his face and shit. Yeah. But. Niggas figured you out, James. Nah. I'm going to just say this like this, though. I mean, it's if it's in you, it's in you. So niggas really be outside in the field. It just comes to them naturally. I don't really got to do too much. That's so to the shoot. Is that play for real? <laughs> I, I know some niggas that really play for real. Uh, me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said me. But anywho. Back True. to the chairs. Shout out to James. Yeah. <laughs> Old me. Hey. Or facts. What's, so Living look. Legend 23. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, Yo, so what what been the hardest part about changing for you, bro? Hanging your hanging your cleats up. Hanging the cleats up. I mean, I wear my I wear my, my jersey number on me at all times. Just remember me uh, or like That's not what he asked you. The times he no, he said No. <laughs> you know, just remember me, you know. Mm-hmm. The times where, you know, shit got real. Mm-hmm. But um I don't know. The change just had to happen. That's fair. Nigga said what was hard about it. Oh, what was hard about it? Nah, answer was. It wasn't. It was, he's saying it was easy. He, he don't miss nothing. Nah, yeah. Because yeah. I know that the, the, the clip is still full. I'm never rusty. <laughs> never rusty. You can put me on this I think court. that one might. I don't think that was the right answer. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> I tried to save you and say it was easy for you that you hit him with that. Yeah. Never rusty, but. That's usually what he does. He just, you know, you try to save him. He he, he, he just dig gonna, another he gonna hole. He push himself off the cliff. Oh, this nigga right. dig yeah. a whole new hole. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> just yeah. for himself. You could quit easy. You could jump back in the game easy. It's that, it's that simple. Right? But you still get practice shots up. That's what it is. Whoa, that's crazy. You gonna quit? Hey, yo, let me get, let me, let me let me get his shots shot up. Yeah, yeah. Get his shots up. <laughs> what? You never walked in the gym, asked for one shot, no. and then left? No. No. Dude. Shooting, just shooting paper balls in trash cans. Kobe. <laughs> oh, nigga, be pretending. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in this situation, this is not good. <laughs> Step back. Where you gonna <laughs> Where you gonna give it up though? Or it's just like, oh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> yo, yo, bro, yo, why you talking so visceral, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Y'all shout out, bro. Uh, <laughs> nah, I mean, 
I just don't want to. Like, Ooh, okay, respect. respect. That's a business nah, answer. Nah, for real, that's it's a just, business answer. You, I, I really Priorities. no funny shit. When I, when I realized how it felt to just be like honest about shit, cause mm-hmm. bro, I ain't gonna. I used to be lying, just like any other nigga, bro, lying my ass off. Oh, tell this one one thing, tell that one another thing, shit like that. But once I realized, bro, how it feel when you just like doing what the fuck you want to do it's and you being thing. straight up about it i just got addicted to that shit bro so now and then it's like bro honestly speaking it's it's like very said, few people that can deal with the shit that come with, with what would come with dealing with me mm. on an exclusive level like it's one thing when a nigga telling you like yo i'm fucking with you and you doing what you're doing but they know what it is and they know that they can go do whatever the fuck they want to do too. But once it's exclusive, it's hard to say like you'll be able to put up with me being in a section with 30 bitches or 20, yeah. 10 bitches. A couple of them, you might feel like they like me on the low. Yeah. Shit like that. Like that shit get deep. And I wouldn't and even you know, want to like put how that on drunk nobody. Get in the section. You know, like. Oh, oh. How they, they get, like, how they get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, Don't speak for me. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. shaking ass, bro. I got you. You know what I got told? I got told yesterday that I guess specific you women don't know how to get though? that no. be around no, me. Just go, yeah. just go, just go, just they go. said, oh, it's certain girls that be around you uh-huh. that, let's say, all right, let's say we all in the section and all the girls in the section shaking their ass, which all women do. Yeah. Oh, on. it's certain ones. They make sure they shake their ass right in front of you. And I'm like, shit like that. Now, imagine if that was my girl. She'll be losing it. So it's like, I don't even want to put that on nobody, nor myself. Cause that shit, yeah. that's too much, bro. When I slow shit down all the way, like James here, that's when I... Uh, that was nice. Hang my, <laughs> hang my sneakers up. <laughs> 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 For now, everybody get to have fun. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Would you even entertain the possibility of even being in a relationship right now? Like with... With like how your like like your lifestyle is set up, <laughs> nigga look you know at the camera. That is. I don't call it like, nah. I mean, I don't, I don't say like I'm not doing that. I just let shit flow. That shit don't be happening. First of all, a lot of these bitches be corny as hell. Mm. You get mm. you start getting up close. It be ones you thought for years. Like yo, if I get next to her, and then you get next to them, it be the whole like, it be the whole optical illusion, bro. Yeah, so that then it be like you know shit just don't work out sometimes. They might try to put certain restrictions on you that you can't like keep up with at the time. So mm. I'm not on no shit like yo. I'm not taking nobody serious. It just don't be going that far, and I'm not really chasing that. So Respectful. I'm open to it. And then I already decided like if I do bust that move, I'm gonna stand on it. Like I ain't gonna be doing like yes, no goofy shit. No like if I do it, I'm gonna do it. But I'm not looking for that right now. Everything friendly. Okay. Everything friendly. Friendly warfare. Friend, yo, let's have a good time, bro. Let's get to know each other. Let's get to know each other. You might. I really get don't to know. really want to know you for real. So I could trust my woman in your section. For sh- can we? I'm <laughs> happy you asked me that. For sure, niggas be like, bro, we all. Just I, yeah, have- I mean, like, you if could- anything, I'm doing you a favor. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for real though. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, bro. Because, you know, it's just for the vibes. Niggas don't be... Yo, niggas will tell their girl, don't do this, don't do that. Like, mm-hmm. they don't do this with cash or such oh, and such nigga. cash is crazy. But you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it either. You feel me? So, say we in the section, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like if a nigga tell his girl that, that means he wants to be in the section with you because... He probably feel like what's going on. <laughs> he probably feel like, oh yeah, this is cash. He was with cash. Was with cash. cash got the women around him. She got him. <laughs> but look, but, but you, you ask him, my shorty. Can you go ask him the apple? Let's be modest and say eight. Let's say it's eight of them. Couple of the guys. There's no That's way. There's no way that I can give that level, of, that type of attention mm-hmm. to eight women at once. Mm-hmm. Even in the few but instances. Which could be the focal point. Yes, but you could be the focal point. Let me explain he, he's, though. He's the, play, the leader. He's the even, play maker. You could be the leader. Even, even the in the guard. instances well, where the leader is so strong. I'm just saying. <laughs> leader. Even when it's like, all right, let's say it's a few of them and they I call it I say coexisting. 
Let's say. <laughs> Let's say, right? You this got a few of them. Minutes. Nah, <laughs> for real. We might have to bring the cars back up. I feel like I feel like he keeps the weekend car. Uh, car. We're not Coexisting. That <laughs> That's yeah. when you got a few of them in the same spot. You like, give me like every day you're a Toro. Nah. Like you got <laughs> you, like you just ruined nah. TikTok. <laughs> I'm just saying though. You gotta you gotta you can't say yeah. The word he used, I'm gonna take his word, sniper. You can't say if you can't have them coexist, you're not really you can't you sloppy. Cause I they'll all be kiki kin and oh take a shot. Uh, uh, and <laughs> everybody a have shot. a good time, no problem. But do they know? Yes. I don't play like that. Because ooh, if ooh, they ooh, don't ooh. know, they start talking. <laughs> and then this nigga is a feel me? So when you write your book, can you just sign it and and then, like, I ain't write. I ain't, save me a copy, please. It's nothing for me to write. Uh, the black you have. <laughs> but look though, <laughs> I say that to say, if it's eight of them, mm-hmm. and even if four of them is has been with me or will be in Ooh, some way, will be is the, is the if, word. That's a big if. It's a hypothetical for people that watch. If just because your girl or love interest was there don't mean niggas was trying to fuck with her i would be chilling like yeah. that instagram shit people see instagram they think they know me mm-hmm. anybody that's been around me for the first time bro they i be chilling and they be shocked like yo why this nigga quiet like what's i be chilling i don't be in every woman face that walk past me so it's like bro if your girl come to the section get lit come back to you and you nail. Why you mad at me for? You just, I just got her. Drink. I just did you a favor, bro. She had a good time. Nah, you secretly nailed in the section. That's what you think. That's what they be saying, bro. You see, yeah, you secretly nailed. They say I'm. I be. I be nailing their mind and shit like that. <laughs> 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 Niggas don't like because that. You, like, <laughs> because you made, you made her drop the boat and you probably held her neck. I don't wow, do that. <laughs> Uh, See, right. he, he, he spent his own shit. He, he, he spent, really it. He spent his own method. No, no more. No more. When you stop, his aunt took it over. <laughs> oh my oh, god! He pa- oh, he oh, passed it. the buck. No, 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 no not not while he's on a trip. Nah, you not gotta hide. He's on a trip. I hide behind him. I hide behind the girls. So if I want to do that, if I feel like I want to grab his neck and pour liquor down her throat, I'm just gonna tell one of the other girls to do it, and I gotta live through her. So that way. Uh-huh. I ain't do it. Right. She did it. You see, I, I mind fuck it, oh, This was nah, going on. Yeah, so this nigga, this nigga's <laughs> just say that up. though, yo. You mind fuck my bitch. I don't like that. Nigga, That's doctor, different. That, doctor, this nigga, this, this nigga said, "All right, pick and roll, <laughs> back door screen, Nito. <laughs> come back, Nito. curl." You gotta draw the plays, man. He talking about he he punching in basketball. <laughs> gotta sit there with the clipboard. X's and O's. Draw the play. I ain't do shit. Phil Jackson wasn't yeah. talking about the last shot. It was Jordan. I just was behind the scenes, called the play. Oh. I got out the way. Gotcha. That's the screen. Yeah. I learned from the best. Kept, kept, the, kept the gloves on. So learned from him. Learned from the best. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Check, we saw defense. Always. He said he learned from you, so. I, I can be. Nope. <laughs> 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 I saw the no team, bro. Mm. Yeah. But anywho. Word. Facts. Yeah, that shit gonna get me indicted. I'm gonna like, <laughs> hear like something man. about that. Right. Oh, so so when when she did, when she drunk mm. the bottle, that's what you was doing? Mm. Yeah, you knew that. What's the crazy? You knew that. <laughs> you, just, you, you knew that. You didn't like the fact that I spoke on it. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> What's the craziest case that you ever got hit with? Like that mean? that wasn't what do you mean? What do I mean, nigga? Some like some bullshit. Like, like cased oh. up. Oh, like oh. accused accusation. Yeah. Like some wild, super duper, <sighs> way left like accusation. Ah. Oh, so it wasn't. It, it wasn't true. You yeah. Said, yeah. Oh. Facts. I was about to say, I, not, Mexico. Because he was saying, you know, like you know. People... <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Right, one up. Hold up. Mexico, I forget. Well, we not gonna talk about right, go ahead, go ahead, but that's probably one of the craziest stories. Ever, bro. Mexico. You got into some shit in Mexico? Nah, he got... Ah, damn. I don't care. <laughs> it's over just, and done Just do it. Just do it. But, uh, you, you said, I think you said it on here before. Yeah, that's Remind what I'm saying. Remind me one up at the end. Yeah, days. I got you. I got you, bro. Um, so, like, I was... <laughs> nice. I was doing my ones and twos. For me, yeah. I was... I was, I was, was DJing? Ha-ha. <laughs> 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 he was nah, out with his, his I was, car. I, yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah. For me. Fucking with so, his rounds. I had uh I was out with my weekend car for me. Well, 
I had my main car back home. And while I was out with my weekend car in Mexico. Question, main car. By that, you're like you financing this or you <laughs> own it? <laughs> <laughs> it's part, it's a different race. It's a different You own this vehicle or is it? Oh my god. god. <laughs> it's a difference. Yeah, if it's your main car, you own the vehicle. I mean, nah, uh, but you can have a main car, but. You can lease it. That's what I'm saying. Back to the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, was, feel me? So while I was out there with. um. You know the the weekend car. I happened to get caught by my main car cousin <laughs> <laughs> Damn. on an on, on excursion in Mexico. Same time, you know, on, excursions on is booked at certain times. So we in a different country. Did you know you got caught, or you found out when you I got found back? Out when I like, so you ain't even see I that would... the other car, cousin yeah, car. Nah, nah. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> nah. So you was, re- you know what? Women be smart though, because she didn't announce herself, so you could really just she could watch you. Like, let me yeah, see how this yeah. nigga acting. You probably was but, wild. Nah, so like basically, <laughs> feel me. I didn't get caught at that Slide moment because she ain't saying that. Her, she ain't saying nothing at the shit. excursion. She just ended up telling her, feel me. So I get back to the room, feel me. Niggas is tired from the excursion. Phone just kept ringing, ringing, ringing. But it wasn't my phone. It was her phone. I see the number and I know it, who the number is. How the main car get her number though? Yeah, I, you know women are fucking detectives. Private eye. Damn. Yeah. You had a good main card and she ain't even tweaking with you. She got right at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she a solid car. That's a good that's, 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 that's adorable. <laughs> that shit a Honda. She ain't playing good driver. 1999. That shit is still on rule right now. That, no, shit, un- that shit was under rule. <laughs> I'm talking about the, that car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. What you was going to ask one up? Oh, nah. one up asking me, maybe th- this might not be the worst, but it's up there. So, spring break era, niggas went on spring break. Me, couple of the homies. So Chill at this out. time, it was two. It was two bitches that we was dealing with. Not nothing serious, like uh, rent rental cars. Okay, oh. with, I'm learning the lingo. Yeah. Right. Right. These is rental cars. You was with your rentals. yeah. Uh huh. Uh, what's that shit? Zip cars. Uh, zip cars. Uh, for, on the scooters. <laughs> <laughs> scooters. Perfect. <laughs> scooters. Two scooters. Okay. Two, <laughs> two scooters. Two scooters. Oh, uh, nah, cause they cool though. Let me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They were scooters, but they cool. I fuck with them. See what happens when you fall into cool. these shit? <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter, because I call them scooters to their face. They know I love them. I love them, but they but scooters. Say, I call a scooter cool. Listen, so ahead, two scooters, cool. they get on that, like, calling us. Oh, y'all in Miami. This is mm. the first day we touch down. Y'all in Miami. Oh, y'all ain't bring us. Mm. We we coming out there. So we think. Oh, nah. Now nah, listen. Wait, what? Stop, no. Stop, 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 stop. What? If what? a scooter fell, that she could just pull up on y'all, might not be a scooter. Nah, they were scooters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's spring break. You gotta okay, remember. Okay. We're not just on vacation. It's he spring was break. with the scooters. No. 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 The, the scooters <laughs> FaceTiming us oh, from the crib. Okay, okay, okay. All right. right. Scooters FaceTiming us. Yo, we pulling up. We coming. We coming. You with other scooters? We, th- yeah. we think they styling. <laughs> Nigga said, you trying to find more schools. So, we out there the next day, bro. We're literally, I remember like it was yesterday. We on Collins and Ninth Street. We sitting there. I turn my left shoulder. These two scooters is parked up. <laughs> <laughs> on some, you know, you know, you know when women catch you somewhere, it's, mm, they, they doing that. Mm. Yeah, y'all thought we wasn't coming. So, me and bro just like, fuck it. Scooters. We put the scooters in the Mustangs. Uh, okay. Let's go. So, long story less long, it was one of their birthday. We go Ratio here, we crazy. go there. That's we, lit, four. we let them rock with us for the day. Uh-huh. We do our thing. We drop them back off at, I think they went They went and squatted at their cousins and them B&B or whatever. Oh, so yeah. we, we drop them back off, go about our business. He shit it on them. He's the accusation part of this is two weeks later, you mind scooter. you, this COVID. So, when we came back from spring break, the world was shut down type shit. Mm-hmm. So niggas in the crib for like a couple of weeks mm-hmm. before niggas start doing shit outside and shit like that. I get a phone call 
from like some niggas from around my way type shit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the scooters was on the block with us. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know them, such yeah. and such and such yeah. and such. They on the block and they telling the whole hood like, yo, you flew them out. Uh, KO, KOD on you. Uh, what? Uncut on you. <laughs> what? Big pink finger licking. You just you show you show love. Then they told the scooters told them like, yeah, he rode both of us up and down the block. What? All oh, yeah, type of shit. Now look, this is the thing. So at this point in time, I'm thinking about my image. Mm -hmm. I'm like Cash a trick. Nah, cause they said I knelt. So it's like oh, wait, okay. oh, but you didn't know. One, that's the crazy part. So oh. a scooter said you rode her and you never rode her? Bro, a scooter said I've never No, heard two scooters that. said That's crazy. Basically the story was Jeez. Cash Cash flew us out. Mm -hmm. We had a great time, yeah. time of our yeah. life. He knelt both of us uh -huh. and went about his business. Damn. So that don't really make me look bad. It don't. But it's like, why? Why, why, why you, are you that? saying that? That didn't happen. Why you do that? So that was crazy to me, just because that was the first time I probably experienced some shit. Where obviously, a because you on the handlebars, because you somebody, a scooter want to just. Attached yeah, to you just they to, to just cause. Saying, they said shit. that you drove, them. especially like just I'm, okay. I'll just say like just just cause like the image of like us having events or whatever the case may be. We, the focal point is gonna be on us. So someone <laughs> probably might watch us and be like, okay, yeah, I want to be around this person. Let me get to know this person. Mm -hmm. That whole groupie behavior shit is not gonna get Yo, you. Stop creating images yeah, of shit. people in your head. Yeah, yeah. cause stop doing that. Cause the same way that I might look on. Socials or whatever, honestly speaking, I'm 10 times more fun than that. So, even if you want to be around me, promo, you're not going to be around promo, me. Promo, I, had two, promo, promo, I had two promo, certified promo. two certified pre owns saying that they <laughs> they fought over me. Certified pre owns. Like, uh, you ain't fight. You get this thing out of here. What? Oh, yeah. Y'all going to be hearing this later. I'm running with that. I'm. I, Pre owned, used, all type of shit. Oh, uh, what they say, floor model? Yeah. All them no. shit. But nah, that shit be crazy. Two of them, two, like, oh yeah, we fought over cash. And it's like, I know why y'all fought. That, shit, I didn't, never drove that shit didn't have nothing to do with me. Never but it just be me. like, at a certain point, if you could just say, oh yeah, you point, you got somebody to point at, people would do that Man, shit. Stop giving me keys to cars I ain't never drive. Yeah, like I ain't going really like man. I'm a two. Feel me, men be. Ooh. I'm saying men be wilding too. Yeah, yeah. they be, be saying they. Right. Sure. No, oh, you know okay, what niggas yeah. niggas Stop trying to take keys to cars. Niggas take drive. pictures yeah. next okay. to car parked cars and yeah, shit. Yeah, like men, men, <laughs> shit men be definitely taking pictures next to cars. I'm like, yeah, I, I was in that car. Nah, he wasn't in there. Yeah, be like, that me? shit was parked. I feel like that's, yeah, that's, women, I feel like that's real, that that's really weird. That is it's corny as hell. Nah, that's weird. Yeah, unusual. Like, but yeah, she she fuck with me, bye, bye. Hey, like, I don't be mad lying. at that shit though because it's like you making me look better. You wanna go tell niggas I nail and all this? You had the time of your life with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell niggas it's not true, but after that, I'm not <laughs> fighting it. Going in sixty seconds. Y'all good looks. Hey yo. Yeah, but I'm taking that car lingo. Good stupid. looks. <laughs> Need that. I'll be talking man. about a bitch right in front of her. <laughs> 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 no, no, no bullshit. I'm trying to finance that. I, I started, he started the jet with me right along, and Blanco just wanted to stay right out of it. <laughs> yeah, that day, that day, that car talk, that car show was very. Yeah, listen, if you are a 2019 or better, <laughs> zero down. Zero down, and I need to send room. I need to buy here, I, buy here, pay off. here. Take the top off. Yeah, I if I could take off. the top off. Yo. And if you got them suicide doors, <laughs> suicide, doors. <laughs> suicide doors is crazy. Call me. This nigga shopping for a Lambo. I put something down though. <laughs> I put something Not down. Not crazy shit though. And I ain't trying to get my credit ran either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why the best is to do Toro for me. It's Toro, somebody else's car. And you drop that shit down. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. What if you put one of your shits on Toro though? I, I, oh. What if that's different? Oh. <laughs> 
you going to do? I'm, I'm saying, though, let's say one of your, your, one of your shit's giving out. you a hard time. <laughs> Finding out your shit's on tour. I had to find out. Find out your car on tour nuts. You took me out there, bro. I need a shot. Finding out niggas spin your shit. That's crazy. Doing donuts in my shit. Playing the music loud as hell. He found oh out. He found out because he was drove your shit out of state. Just Yo, you out. don't even drive. You don't even drive <laughs> like that with me. Out of state. Like I said, I ain't never see you go zero to sixty that fast. But niggas get washing your shit, all type of <laughs> shit. <Damn. laughs> he wasn't even that clean. Nigga, my niggas returned my shit with a car seat in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> I need a clip of that one. Pack it up. Yo, son, what is wrong with you? Pack it up. Pack it the fuck up. This nigga said with a car seat. Pack it up. Pack it up, son. You still got the title? Oh. Or you signed it over? Oh man! Nah, I, honestly, I ain't. I get my I get my car, car back seat, and the car in my seat. shit to, to I was car. getting the car checked out. Yeah. Oh shit! This ain't even my car seat. Damn! You gotta report that stolen. Oh <laughs> yeah! You gotta let the insurance handle that, my yeah. man. No, for real. <laughs> for yeah, real. Just, they you, might cash you out. Yeah, you just gotta leave that one alone, bro. Yeah. Took it there, bro. He just, he tra- <laughs> what they call that? He just trauma dumped on her. <laughs> that shit fucked my whole day up. Like. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, nah, we appreciate you, though, Cash. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I appreciate y'all say. niggas. Y'all know that. It's the fact that, and I like the fact that, you know, like, since Cash started doing the whole podcast shit, it's like, Natural to him now. Super, 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 super. Shit, natural. that's how everything been coming to you lately. That's how I like that for you, bro. Yeah, I, got, I just gotta make sure I keep my car. You. Far away from this guy. I got to start yeah. my- <laughs> I, respect, I respect niggas' cars, bro. But when you leaving the doors open, car running, you acting <laughs> like it. Down. When you yo, <laughs> yo, when you running around acting like it's not your car, bro, I'm the type uh, of nigga that's gonna. Uh, dr- thank you. Uh, Let's speak uh, on that, uh, yo. Cause look, damn, we ain't even got that much time. No, 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 no. Just I'm gonna do it fast. Leave, leave the message. I'm gonna do it fast, bro. Okay. Everybody can't have. You might look at your car and say, "Oh, this a little hoopty." Or, uh, you know, you ashamed. Don't appreciate the value. You don't of your appreciate car. the value of your car for whatever yeah. reason. Mm-hmm. So now you run around telling niggas, "That ain't even my shit for real." I yeah. That just my weekend car. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And then when you see a nigga turn that shit on, he proud of that <laughs> shit. I'm posting up. You know how the '80s pictures niggas took the picture next to the yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning on the car. I'm having a good time. Now you mad? You told me that you that yeah. car was on Turo. Yeah. That's it. So niggas need to start claiming their cars because niggas will drive your shit up and down the parkway. <laughs> drive your shit out of state. Get but your shit shipped I'm, to Miami, all type I'm of shit. Speaking. Nah, because a lot that. of niggas will get asked, yo, is this your car? And a motherfucker will not claim the car at all or, like you said, claim it as a weekend car and then get mad or any F and E's when... Right. And if we homies... Just say that. Yeah. Because niggas would say that's not my car and then go put the anti theft system in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> some sneaky shit. What? <laughs> I see niggas go sneaky shit. I see yeah, niggas nah, sneaky for real. Shit. Go right to their car and put the anti put theft the in the house me. Car bomb in that shit. You're going to try to turn the car on. Killed you. Try to get in the car. <laughs> Word. Beep, 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 beep. I hope none of my cars pop up with no car seats. Hey, yo. Car, yeah. That shit will break my heart. I ain't going to lie. I, I don't know about that one, bro. I might have to key that car. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Burn that shit. <laughs> I should go into the junkyard next time. What? Well, either way. <laughs> Guys, I on that note. Listen, Cash, we appreciate you. Yeah, for what? Time. Nah, 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 <laughs> what time for Cash? Where can the people them find you? Oh, uh, at Cash Out Court. Um, Word. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that shit. You don't need my it. Twitter. For hey, real. man, sh- make sure y'all, y'all shop. Strong Any day, gold, man, you know coming up. Oh yeah, strong Menlo, strong Menlo. Uh, if you are a car that like to get your cosmetics right, <laughs> non touch get the vinyl, the decal, get the decals, okay. all that type we of shit. Some, I do yo, those tints, detail, yo. all that. <laughs> I do <laughs> tints. I, I do full detail. Well, and if you trying to let niggas test, if you trying to let niggas test drive that shit, 
862 That's the Batman line. So if I don't answer right away, don't take it personal. This nigga is a movie. So yeah, in this yeah, shit, for I say something like that, give me a trouble. Oh, man. We look forward to seeing you August 27th. We look I'm forward a, to I'm seeing you. How, How many bottles you popping? How many bottles you popping? He in a sticky situation. I'm, I'm not listen. I'm not 100 percent sure you, you know that crazy I would be though? there. But you know why? I fuck with Cash for this reason. Even though like he got prior engagements, he said, "Yeah, I'ma still lock in and support a section just in case." Yeah, because don't look, work out. I'm not telling it. I already know. Listen, let's be real, bro. All all the cars I know want to go. The homies want to go. So I'm not telling niggas, nah, y'all got to come fuck with me over here. At the end of the day, I made sure the table locked in, so yeah. niggas good. We appreciate well, either you. way I go, so we're... And I appreciate y'all niggas booking cash dolls, too. That shit. I mean, Always. Like, Always. That's the biggest, one hand wash the other. That's one of the biggest events of the year, if not the, so... Oh, man. Word. Thank you. Man, we appreciate you saying that. You know what I'm saying? Word. Word. One yeah. up. When you going to change your app, bro? You a Jersey DJ, man. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. <laughs> Never. DJ One Up and Double doubling down, nigga. About to be NYC DJ One Up NYC. Motherfucker, mm. fuck you talking about. But yeah, man, if y'all still here, we gotta figure out the name. Like, it's, it's a and bunch subscribe. Of like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, 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 no! I want to ask the last question. Go ahead. What's next? Uh, What's next? Because I know y'all ain't done. Something. Might Rock be Nation done. brunch. What is it? Honestly, uh, man. y'all doing car shows. Car show might have to be it. To be honest. <laughs> Honestly, next episode's thing gonna be called Car the... Show Number no, Two. No, it's not. <laughs> car not. Show Part Two. I don't know why you like that shit so much. Suicide Doors. <laughs> <laughs> I like Suicide Doors. Car seat. No, we can name it Toro. Car seat. Car sick. Car sick. Quit. Car sick. He asked us a question. Cabinet but anyway, converted. what's next? Uh, no, no, Listen, no. you just, you know. World domination. Man. Exactly. Let's go. Uh, we on tour. Uh, I can't yeah. say it. Nah, that's fair. I can't nah, nah, say it. Nah, nah. Honestly speaking, niggas know something's coming. We just don't know what's coming. Pause. No, you don't know what's coming. You pause. don't know. We know. We got it. Something. Right? Put <laughs> But yeah, man. It was a pleasure. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Look when, forward when to When it come it back, again. I definitely need to double back. Yeah, for, for sure, for sure. We're gonna we gonna we gonna we're gonna link back up, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's James. That's uh Bilo Blanco. I almost got your name, nigga. Who are you? That's crazy. My Muslim brother. I right, must catch y'all. I'm a fit crusher. And when it comes to money talk, I'm Chris Tucker. Golly, nigga, can I have my face back? I don't call bitches off a number you can trace back. Gotta put a price on the spice like ASAP.